Welcome to Reality News Roundup, your daily dose of news and updates from the real estate sector. Let's look at the biggest headlines of the day. To boost the Indian real estate sector, the government has decided to cut down forms and formalities a developer needs to have before laying the foundation of a project. The Ministry of Environment and Forests has decided to reduce the number of condition that developers have to meet from 30 to a range of 6 to 8, depending on the project size. These norms are related to water conservation, natural drainage, solid waste management, energy, air quality, noise and green cover. The National Consumer Disputes Redressal Commission, the NCDRC, recently said that an Indian citizen or a non-resident Indian who owns multiple properties for investment and profit cannot qualify as a consumer within the meaning of Consumer Protection Act 1986. The suggestion by the Bombay High Court to impose a ban on new constructions has met opposition by the Maharashtra state government. The government claimed that the new directions to the Bombay Municipal Corporation to ensure segregation of waste to new dumping grounds and other measures will help tackle the problem caused by cities polluting dumping grounds, the Times of India reported. Realty major Omex Limited's sales booking has increased by 16% to Rs 1,335 crore during the period of April to December 2015. The group's residential projects in New Chandigarh, Allahabad and Lucknow were the major contributors to the rise in sales in the nine-month period. JSW Steel has received the clearance to build a skyscraper by demolishing an Art Deco bungalow on Carmichael Road in Mumbai, the Times of India reported. It will be first such tower in almost 50 years in this residential enclave of South Mumbai. Thanks for watching today's Reality News Roundup. For more news and updates from the real estate sector, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube and Instagram.